Hey guys, this is Alexis with Sofia Leather. Uh, this video, I just want to go over the, where we're at with our bags and new products that are coming out. I'll put a link in the description here of this bag right here and um, the build on this bag. This is like the third or fourth bag. I've already made a couple. And just to give you a breakdown on the process, um, before we put any product on our website, we actually make a couple for our friends and family, give it to them, and let them abuse it. So we can see the shortfalls and the, uh, the different design uh, issues. Uh, this way, we can put a really, really awesome product on there. Now, this bag here, you'll see that video how I made it. I had a couple issues with the uh, design itself. Um, nothing major, but something different. And this is the reason why it's not on the bag. Uh, this is the reason why it's not on the website. So let me go over a couple of issues here. This is our executive briefcase. I did have it on the website for like a week, took it down, um, uh, and, I, and I'm going to explain why. In the video, you'll see that I put some polyester webbing uh, in between these two layers, and what that, what, that, uh, what that does is it increases the strength and reduces the flexibility, but I think that's a little overkill. The worst thing is, uh, in the light, you can kind of see where, where it's starting to print a little bit, and you could see the actual webbing. It's really, really small detail but I don't like that. So I'm not gonna do that on the main flap. The smaller straps where it takes a lot of the uh, stress, uh, including this here, the handle, I do put that polyester webbing, but you can't see that in these smaller straps. The other issue with this bag is this zipper. I love the zipper, it's beautiful. It's not that functional. And the reason why is because it's really, really tight to get stuff in there, um, and which will uh, loosen up over time. And I've actually put some stuff in there that are you know, pretty thick, like wallets and stuff. Um, and it will kind of break loose a little bit and it'll fit stuff. But this right here, it was causing, um, it was rubbing against my customer's jacket, a business jacket. And it was starting to fray his really nice expensive jacket. And he said that, man, that's really nice, but I'd rather not have that. And most people say they'd rather not have that zipper because like I said, that's really, really, I use a really big zipper and that will cause uh, some abrasion um, to your nice articles of clothing. So I'm probably gonna get rid of this zipper. And the other thing, oh, let me make sure I'm still recording. Am I still recording? Yeah, okay. The other thing about this bag is I put a liner, a stiffener. I put a stiffener in this bag. You'll see in that video that I actually uh, cut out some bag stiffener. It's a widely used material in the leather uh, crafting world uh, for bags, especially to maintain its rigid rigidity and maintain its shape. However, it, make, it made this bag probably one of the heavier bags I've ever made. And it's right at the six pound mark, which is on the high side for a messenger bag slash briefcase. And I realized that uh, I don't need to do that because the way I create this bag is that I line multiple layers of leather and that really increases the strength. And you, I'll talk about this one later, but I did not add the back stiffener to this and you can see where it's, where it's actually standing up on its own. So it doesn't, need to, it doesn't need that back stiffener. It just adds weight and it's unnecessary. It's kind of overkill. Um, so the previous bags I made were without the back stiffener and those customers, uh, the feedback was the bag stood on its own, no problem. So I'm not gonna add the stiffener. I'm probably gonna get rid of this zipper and put a flap like this. Okay, with a magnet. This flap has a magnet. Okay, so I can do a magnet, I could do a, a stud, I could do different ways to attach this and, and let it keep closed. I don't like it where it's loose because then it'll start to bacon and spaghetti, so it needs something to attach that. I'll go over that bag in a second. So this bag here, the other problem was it took me a long time to build it. It was because all those intricate details, i.e. the bag stiffener, the, the polyester webbing, this zipper took a long time to, to stitch, and that really increased the price Hold on, that really increased the price. And you know, this bag is beautiful. It's, I use Wicked and Craig English bridal leather. And I, I wouldn't change that. Um, however, to lower the amount of hours, the hours, um, I'm gonna have to get rid of a couple of things. Um, and you know, that zipper, uh, stitching, making this a stitched item, uh, making this a stitched item, I might forego that and just use a solid piece of thick leather like I did here. Um, that's really gonna cut down some time this way. I can provide a really good product, you know, and it's not going to break the bank. 
and it's worth my time. And, and, th and that's the thing, you know, I'm going to provide a super high quality product, but I want to make it affordable as well. So, you know, right now I have it, I, I was selling it for 1100, but I think I want to come down, you know, somewhere between 600 and 800. I think that's more affordable. Um, yeah, so that's this bag. And the next item that I want to go over is, hold on, is this executive tote bag. Now, with that feedback on that bag, I made those changes on this bag. So this is essentially a, a tote bag. The difference between that bag and this bag, this one does not have a flap, and this gusset is way bigger. It's like six, six inches. And if you could see inside here, it's really, really wide. And like I was telling you, I did not use the bag stiffener for this bag. This comes with two handles that easily go over your shoulder. I said easily and I struggled. But, okay, so this is more, I guess, of a feminine bag. This was re requested to me by the most wonderful woman I ever met in my life, which is my wife. She's in real estate. And the inside of this bag is very similar to the uh, executive briefcase. So you could say that this is an executive briefcase slash tote bag. Doesn't have the flap, but it has these truly nice handles. Okay, uh, the couple of changes I implemented from feedback on that bag was this strap here, or this flap here, I made a scallop on there. I scalloped that flap so it doesn't bake in, and I added this connector here so that when you stuff it, you can connect this so it doesn't open up, okay? Um, I also implemented not a zipper in the back, but a flap and I added a magnet so it doesn't stay open. Now this pocket, you can get into a lot easier, okay? So that is what I'm probably gonna do for the executive bag is add the flap with a magnet or a different type of connector. It's kind of like a stud, a snap, which is really cool. I'll show you that later on, but I'm not a big fan of this leather piece here, to be honest with you. I put her initials there, but I just don't like the way this came out. So I might, and I have to put something there because the magnet pushes through and you'll see the prongs on the other side of that leather. So I have to cover that. There's different ways around it. I could put a piece of leather on the inside and add the magnet to that. So I'm still designing something here to cover that magnet. So um, it looks pretty slick. So I'm still working on that. But this bag here is basically done. This is gonna be the executive tote bag. And um, yeah, so look forward to that. Like I told you earlier, I don't, hold on, let me make sure I'm still, yeah. Like I told you earlier, I'm not gonna put this on the website until I make two or three of these and I get feedback from people. So my wife and I have another customer that is gonna use this bag and let me know what they think, different changes. But I think this is gonna be ready to go here soon, It'll be in the website, executive tote bag. Back to this briefcase. <clears throat> um, as far as the color schemes, of course I can customize anything, but right now I'm gonna go with black, with black stitching, a medium brown, which I'll show you a picture of because I don't have that. This is dark brown. Medium brown and like a light tan. You know, something like a tan, a lighter color like that. That's what I'm thinking. Um, still have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the color schemes. Uh, yeah, so that's these two bags I'm gonna offer soon. Okay, and the other thing I'm gonna put on the website is these bifold wallets, okay? Now, this is a slim bifold wallet. I made it so that it barely fits cash because I wanted to carry cash but not be so bulky. And I only made two slots. And these slots are kind of special because I made them and they're always special. But I made them where they open up towards the middle of the wallet, meaning if you have it closed, it can't fall out, okay? Because it's stitched right here. So you have to open it and get your cards out this way, which I like because I feel secure with this wallet in my pocket. Okay, so uh, this is kind of a minimalist bifold wallet, you could say. Um, and that black came out super sharp, man. I really, really love that black. I don't make, I make too many things black with black stitching, but I mean, that came out really, really sharp. So the, these slots here can fit like three or four cards each. Yeah, so this will be on the website soon and I'll show you a video of how many times I've worked on this this piece here, I think this is a final product, but if you can look here, I'll show you a video. Um, but uh, th this is a drawer of just some of the stuff I, I made here. Uh, I try to attempt to make this bifold wallet. All right, so uh, that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you have any input on these kind of bags, 
Uh, those of you that have the bags, let me know what you think of the changes that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm planning on implementing. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>